Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. So I was going to hit you guys up to do the RPG a day question for today. You guys up for that? What's well, an RPG a day question? You obviously haven't listened to any of our episodes. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm sad. I listened to the episodes I was in. Sure. A little <laughs> crying <laughs> too right here. So RPG a day 2018 is a thing that they've been doing for the last five years. We're uh, in August. They ask questions about tabletop role players everywhere to tweet, blog, YouTube, Instagram, Tumblr, and Facebook. Their RPG a day answers with hashtag RPG a day. Celebrate everything cool, memorable, and amazing about our hobby. Okay. It's okay. That was the sounds you get in Star Wars. Yeah. All kinds of clinking. Nothing around. like a space storm. <laughs> so, uh, and this is probably a good game for it because uh, August the 11th question. What is the wildest character name? Oh. That, that, I, that you've made? That you've made. Oh, that's not a good question. Yeah. That's I named a, a hut after this, after Pudge. <laughs> Pudge it up. Eh? Pleiades is good. I can't Pleiades remember. I know, I don't have one. Yeah, you don't make wild I don't, um, Blue. I don't know. I recall a certain doctor who had a great name. Mm. Yeah, I forgot his name. Doctor Brock Cornelius. Good name. Brock. Oh, I yes. want a bunch Lord of yeah. names. Um, Lord Cock Toss. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Huh? Doctor Lord Cock Toss. Doctor Mark. Oh, oh. remarkably close for someone that's you. On this stormy night. Wow. I used a random character generator just for yeah. fun, looking for a vampire name, and I got Sparrow Holt. Which is a great name, and I use the hell out of it. I like my I super like my either. pirate ruin name right now, Jet Black Sail. <laughs> well, that's Jet Black Sail. You know. That might be the most pirate. And, and that works for Star Wars, where they take just two things yeah. and put them together. Yeah. You know? Once in second edition. Jet is a nice four. name. Yeah. Makes a million silver hammer. That was good. I like the idea that we, you put a sail on our ship. You do know that does nothing. It's yeah. static. You do would... point that sword. You do know this does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to go with the same name I used for my You've first email account, you. which was Uanul, which is a Celtic name, U-A-N-U-I-I-L, which everyone asks what the hell did that thought, means. It's yeah, I thought you pronounced it, I thought it was Uanul. Yeah, yeah, Uanul. I thought you were having a stroke. It, it rolls off pretty <laughs> easy with the right accent, with the right accent, but... I think my best is probably Cabrock Cornelius Yaga. Yeah, that that's a mouthful. Yeah, it is. Was uh, this a Star Wars? Uh, no, no, this was uh, this was Pathfinder. Right, right down the angle. Uh, right 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 Artificer, right. he was fun. Ooh. Regular D and D, homebrew D and D, or ever? Pathfinder. Uh, so Galarian. People okay. seem very excited about the new Pathfinder. Uh, if it's anything like the new Starfinder they did for the free RPG day, it's, it's more complicated. Well, it's not. It's, not. it's weird. Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they make it? Nice? It now has stress and wounds for like Star Wars. Oh, you know, it's fine. It looks like they're Star borrowing Wars a bunch is a from everybody. System. And they're cutting everything down into, instead of having your full action and your moves and your tendency, you've got three actions that you take. You just have three actions a turn, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're going like the fifth angle and simplifying. They're simplifying it down and. With, it looks like there's at least a lot of like depth within the system they've got. There's just fewer things you have to deal with. More things take from the same pools and things. Okay. So uh, we'll see. It's ostensibly going to be streamlined without having lost any mechanical depth, which is. I mean, they're going to lose mechanical depth the moment they lose all of their third party content, but yeah. you know. That's good. That's good. They'll have to build up the library. Again. Mm-hmm. The only thing yeah. I have against it is that they just didn't go full into Starfinder, which makes me sad. Yeah, I want it's more Starfinder. They did like such a good job getting it started. I'm like, okay, you guys can do so much with it's this. Black books. And what was Starfinder? Um, it's their space Pathfinder. Um, yeah. it's Oof. the same universe. Pathfinder Star Wars. space. And they've got cute little six arm guys that are not Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. They're Skittermanders and they're definitely Stitch. They are the shit, yeah. aren't they? I played a Skittermander pilot once named Genki who was very fun. <laughs> such a turd. Genki was mean spirited as hell. <laughs> he was such a little turd. We we did the uh, the free oh, RPG day adventure, which is the whole group for Skittermanders. Oh, no. Your boss goes to a derelict yacht and doesn't come back or call it, so you guys get bored and have to go find him. And as soon as you get on the ship, the ship thinks that you're in. You're, you you get into the pet hole, oh, and no. it thinks you escape pets of the, of the crew. <laughs> 
So at first, it tries to be non-lethal with you. But uh, whoever wrote that adventure did not write it to be a one-shot. It was, we, we stayed up six hours one night playing it, and still didn't finish the whole adventure dream. Because there's like, do you want to learn space battles? Here's how these pirates come to try to steal your claim. Okay, they were trying to do a full introduction to Starfighter. Yeah, it wasn't a one-shot game. If, um, if you've played uh, Meet Near Zero, mm -hmm. I love that game. So we had several ships of the animal mutants had crashed near us, and we had just accepted them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the best was a Dr. Bunny. And you know how they're all named after certain types? Uh -huh. uh, her name was like Brittany398, because the mammals are named after pop stars. Uh, but we kept and refused to call her anything but Dr. Bun. Dr. Bun, Dr. Dr. Bun. She died. When uh, our base was in, uh, our home was in the, uh, a place got nuked and we were in the fallout area, Ooh. and so we were forced to migrate. Forced migration, and not as nature intended. So, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. What's next? Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. <laughs>